Let's first talk about its effects. This is the most used function of Manicam. So this is the effects tab and as you can see, I have a lot of categories here. So let's start from this. Big A. Small A. Small B. Good. Alright, let's try another one. Oh, this is my favorite category. So let's try... Let's try this. What can you see? I can see four birds. Good job. Hmm. <gasps> what is it? A frog. Very good. That's correct. Hmm. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, look. Is the cat happy? No, it isn't. Well done. A monkey here. Is this a monkey? No, it's a... Yes, very good. A pig. <laughs> Next, let's try this. you see me? Yes? Or no? Hmm. Yes! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> so this is what you call a squeeze distortion effect. So you can find it here. So you can choose another one like this one. <gasps> what is happening? <laughs> or this. Ah! Or this one. Or this. Hello. Oh. Who's this? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Next, we can also use this. It's a banana. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> All right. And... If you have a student who likes playing basketball, then you can use this as a reward system. Alright, so one point or one point, then this is three points. Good job! Do you like playing soccer? Yes? Or no? Okay, and what else? Clap your hands! You did a great job! Congratulations! <gasps> okay, now yeah, there you go. And give me five, give me five. Good job. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> the next useful function is this one presets. Since we only use the free version of the software, then we are only allowed to use two presets. However, we can add a new layer by clicking on this button. As you can see, it's small. We cannot change its size and move it. So how can this be useful? There are two things we can use it for. We can also use this to show GIFs, pictures, and even videos. To do so, click on this button and click Images and Videos. Select a file and click Open. Watermelon. 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 Um, um, yummy! <laughs> we can transform our students into different animals, fruits, and other things. So click on this and hover the mouse over desktop and click area under cursor. Then select the effect and click chance or cut. Next, click on it and you have to move your mouse cursor and place it on your student's video frame. Let's try it. She's my student. It's a dog. It's a dog. Good job. Now let's try it. You have to click on it and then do this one. Then search for the effect. Then click trans. And click on the effect and Ta-da! Oh, wow! It's a dog! <laughs> wow! 
Well done. That's right. Good job. We can use this feature to give instructions, explain a concept, and teach a sentence structure. So click draw in text and use this to draw something. Circle. Circle the picture. Then erase it. Here you go. This can also come in handy. We must click on this button to show the text. You can write something here. I have a pencil. I have a pencil. So you can point at words to guide the student to read the sentence. I have a pencil. I have a pencil. Well done. Okay, let's try this one. Hmm. Do you have a pencil? Yes. Very good. I have a pencil. Well done.